My plan is to make some clay from home. I've been buying some take home clay from Pottery to the People in Berlin. Um, because of the corona and isolation, they weren't able to have their studio open for a while, so you could support them by buying some clay. So the first step is I'm gonna make some wedging boards, so I'm just gonna show you how I make them. Um, I already had this uh, piece of wood roughly cut out. Uh, it had some weird pieces that I used to cut off and then I sanded it. And then I found that I already had at home some muslin, which is unbleached cotton fabric. Um, preferably kind of thick. <laughs> my board on top and center it. Then I'm just gonna start in the middle of the long side. Grab this one, put it on top and put a stick. And then go to the opposite side. otherwise For the short side, I like to put it in, so I like fold it in like this, basically, and like hold it there, so you can like kind of fold this one up, so it becomes kind of straight. It's hard when it's so tiny, but. and then the fabric underneath here.
have stapled all the way around so I'm just going to cut away a little bit of the extra so I'm going to start with the long sides because these are like the corners go on top and just fold it in to all the staples and then fold it over now I'm going to tack it down in just a few places and this is just to keep it from fraying Got. It's a very heavy package with, I assume, clay. I'm pretty excited to see if I can open this up. <laughs> then I got one tool because I thought it could be nice to have. And here's the clay. Ugh, the big boys. So I have two that are uh, speckled. They're supposed to be, and then one that is red or like I guess more brown. Uh, I think it will fire more red. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. So I realized that I'm not really explaining what I'm doing here and it's because I had a friend over um, for the first part of this project so I didn't film it and I'm sorry because I'm doing a teapot so probably the first part would have been more interesting to watch but here I'm wedging the clay uh, that I need for some of the um, smaller details for the teapot and I'm just rolling it out, um, trying to have like even tension everywhere and make it even in thickness. I'm also outside and this was in June I think, um, so it was extremely warm. So you will see later that I will move inside because it was unbearable how warm it was. Um, I was wetting, the clay was drying up, uh, it wasn't a great time. But for now, I stayed outside and did these uh, long strips that I'm now combining to circles to have... I think one is for the bottom of the teapot, so it has a foot, and one is for the top. Basically, so you can make a brim for the, um, the lid to rest on. And I'm doing some scoring. And here you can just see me trying it out, see if it works. And here also see if the lid will fit into the circle I made. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of me making this teapot. And hopefully next time I do a clay project, I will film the whole thing. Uh, you could also see Tiff out there in the background, chilling out. She's so cute. I, I love her.
Jetzt so. I went and picked up my teapot and it didn't explode so I'm, I'm very happy about that and this is what it looks like and the lid also works pretty good this is what it looks like it has a tiny crack inside but that doesn't really matter and also like a very tiny crack here um, but otherwise oh no it's like still tea in there but um, <coughs> Yeah. I'm so happy. It's so cute. Like, look at that. Yay! And then I'm also gonna show you the bottom. So it's missing a little bit of glaze there. I'm guessing like a thumbprint or something. And then we have a tiny crack here as well. Which also doesn't really matter. And also my partner bought like a strainer for it. And it fits so perfectly. Like the lid doesn't fit as well when you put it in, but it's okay. And then I also wanted to show you these tiny guys. I just went to pick them up, and they are like for soy sauce. I hope they're <laughs> big enough for like one sushi piece mm. and they turned out really cute and also that you can see it like through the glaze so the glaze turned out this mint green and then it doesn't cover like the coverage is not really super strong but I kind of like the effect so yeah I made four of those and you can like stack them like this which is Cute. 